Hello everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial on how to make the simulator game series. So in the past tutorial I've showed you guys how to make a system for when you go ahead and click. You'll get strength and it will display in here. And I've also shown you how to make a selling system. But that still needs quite a lot of things such as data saving so we're gonna work on that right now but before we start i just want to let you guys know that if you guys don't want to follow my entire tutorial tutorial series or any tutorial really you can uh, get my ten dollar tier or support me on patreon you'll have access to every single one of my tutorial files and with that being said let's start so what we're gonna be doing is adding a Actually, we don't have to add something in our player data script. We're gonna have a variable for um, data store service. Data store service, and that will be equal to game colon get service and data store service. After doing that, we're gonna create our new data store. So local data store is equal to data store service calling the get data store and we're just going to put some random things such as g and uh, a something okay so this is going to be my key so i'm just going to put a, a long string of numbers and keep in mind if you reset this your data will be reset so make sure you have one key when you release your game so we've done that now we will have some checks in here so go to server storage player data go to leader stats so we have coins and strength now we're gonna do if value dot name is equal equal to coins then and then else if value is equal equal to uh, value dot name sorry is equal equal to strength now make sure to change this to whatever you have then what we're going to be doing is well setting up the data and in here i'm going to have a player moving event so players dot player removing on connect function and that will take the player as an argument and after doing that i'm just going to have a p call function and I'm going to do date store on set async player plr dot user id dot dot uh coins comma and we're gonna have plr dot leader stats dot coins dot value. After doing that, we're are going to copy this and they just work on set async strength this time strength and player dot leader stats dot strength dot value after doing that we will have another p call in here so local data is equal to and nil now they a p call function and local m data is equal to or actually let's do data is equal to uh data store data store on get async and that will take the player dot user id and remember dot dot and coins and we're not going to have the comma and the other stuff so now in here i'm going to check if data is not equal to nil then coins uh then then uh, cloned dot value is equal to and uh data now you want to copy this paste it well actually let's type it local data is equal to nil and people function and data is equal to data store on um, get a sync player dot user id dot dot and strength this time 
and now if data is not equal to nil then um cloned dot value is equal to and um data and that should be it now we are going to go ahead and play the game or actually before you play the game make sure you go to home game settings security and enable studio access to api services make sure that is checked and uh, for me it's already checked so no need to do anything else now i'm just going to go here uh clear this output and i'm just going to equip my sword get two strength and leave the game actually it won't work because we forgot to add a bind to close event which is very very simple all you have to do is to go to your per data script and just do game on bind to close function just do wait two seconds that should be good and now we should get two strength or even four leave the game wait for it to succeed and play the game wait for it and it's not been updated which is very weird so okay so i am back and i realized that the error is very simple to fix which it which was because of this so uh, if value instead of doing if value dot name is equal equal to coins then we are going to do if value colon find uh colon find first child and coins then and after doing that we are just going to actually change this to cloned after doing that just do cl cloned Find for first child coins dot value is equal to data and in here we're gonna do the same thing so if found on find first child uh or actually let's do or cloned or, never mind that won't work else if cloned Put that in, copy this, put it here, and data is equal to new. Now we are just going to copy this, clone to come and find your child strength this time, this time, and I'm just going to remove this else if, and just get the if, remove this, put it here, uh, add an end, and you should be good to go. This is getting a bit complicated, but don't worry. It's not really. Uh, okay, let's rejoin. And join again. And as you can see, it is loaded. So I'm going to sell and at the same time ha get, have some strength. Leave the game. And rejoin. And as you can see, it works. And yeah, this is going to be it for this quick tutorial. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next tutorial. Bye!